Hello everyone, welcome back to Little Bench. Today I am going to show you how to make press flower candles. This is what we are going to do today. We are going to press the flowers and then we will transfer it onto the candles. There are different methods to press the flowers. We will be discussing two methods today. One is the microwave method and the other one is the ironing method. This ironing method I found in another channel, Bits and Arts. She had beautifully explained how to iron the flowers. I will add the link of her video in the description box. Those who are interested can check it. Actually both methods works well. I tried both and the results are almost the same. So now let's get into the project. These are the two types of flowers I am going to press today. This flower already has a papery texture, so it will be easy to press this one. Now let me cut this out. I have arranged all the flowers on a kitchen tissue. This set of flowers I am going to microwave. Keep it inside a book and keep a weight over it. Now let me keep this aside. I have made one more similar set for the ironing method. Now let's make the other flowers ready. The petals of this flower is not watery, but it's thick. I am pressing this in different shapes. Some flowers I divided into half. Some I kept as the whole flower. And some flowers together as a bunch. Let's arrange this onto the tissue paper for ironing. Another set inside the book for the microwave. First let's do the iron method. I am keeping the flowers together with the parchment paper inside a double layered kitchen towel. Turn on your iron on low. Make sure you don't use any water or steam features. Press the iron on the towel for about 30 to 60 seconds. You can do this 2-3 times. Repeat this process until the flour is dried. Check the flowers in between the process and repeat until you are satisfied with the papery texture of the flour. Flowers are almost ready now. Let's press for 15 to 30 seconds more. Now its petals are all dried. Transfer the flowers into a book and keep a weight over it. Let it sit for 4 to 5 hours. If you have time, you can keep it for a day to get perfect press flowers. Now let's move on to the microwave method. This is the book in which we arrange the flowers. Now I'm going to microwave it. We'll microwave it for one minute and we'll see how it has come out. So when you microwave it, you have to keep a heavy thing over this and then you microwave. Any heavy weight. So I'm keeping it for one minute now. So it's one minute. Now let me check this. It's not ready. Can you see? So we have to keep it for one more minute. One of the flour is ready now. See all the water content had gone and we got a papery texture. But for the other flour, you need to microwave it for some more time. Maybe one more minute. See. Oh, other thing what you can do is after two minutes of microwaving, you can keep a heavy object over it and keep it for a day. So it will absorb all the heat and then it will you will get a perfect result. So that is also another option. Yeah, it's almost ready now. Can you see? Now what you can do is keep the weight over this and you can keep it for like 4-5 uh, hours. Then you will get a perfect press flower. All the flowers are ready now. I will show you how to transfer these flowers to this candle. There are different methods to do this. One of the easiest methods is using the wood glue. I haven't tried with the normal white glue, so I don't know whether it works. Gorilla glue is a very strong glue and it works well. With a brush, apply some glue to the candle and stick the flower. Wherever you want, apply the glue and stick the flower. You 
You can repeat this process all around the candle. This is a very easy method. This is another method to press the flowers to the candle. I would say a perfect method. Light a candle and heat the inside of the spoon. Once the spoon is hot, press the flower to the candle with the other side of the spoon. As you can see, the inside of the spoon has the black smoke in it. So if you press the flower with that side, all the smoke will get transferred to the candle and the whole process will get messed up. So make sure you switch the sides. We have to repeat this process until you fill the whole candle with the flowers. This is a bit time taking process but you get a perfect result. Now I have transferred all the flowers to the candle. If you want you can do one more step to secure the flowers. Wrap the candle with a butter paper and blow dry it. Then slowly press the flowers to the candle with your fingers. Repeat this all around the candle. Thus we made a beautiful pressed flower candle. Though the wood glue method is easier, I prefer this method because we get a perfect result. I hope everything was clear. Hope you liked it. We try making this at home and let me know your comments. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the description box. I'll reply. See you next week with another easy DIY session. Till then, little bit signing off.